Well, good morning. This morning on the call, we had the fantastic little story of Coca-Cola, which is really worth reading. It's called The Enchanted Kettle. A drugstore clerk bought a recipe from a doctor and he paid $500 for that, his life savings. And the most important thing is what he put into it, what he put into that recipe to create what Coca-Cola is today. He started it. And where did he start it? He started it in his imagination. He could see it. That's what he was thinking. That was he was living when he started to brew the concoction that we now know as Coca-Cola. I don't know if it was called Coca-Cola in those days, but look at where Coca-Cola went. It's a worldwide, it's a global product. Everybody, no matter where you are, drinks it. I've seen it in spots. But you have no idea that they would have it and they have it. Not that I drink it. I don't really particularly care for it. I don't care for sodas, period. So I don't drink it, but it's amazing. It's just the power of imagination. Here's what came up for me this morning as we were on this Think and Grow Rich call that you can go to every day at nine o'clock Eastern time, Monday through Friday, is that in order to find what you're looking for, in order to get that burning desire, what is that burning desire for? We keep on racing, racing, racing. What came to me is that calm down, calm down and get clear. Allow the flashes, allow the little sparks of the universe or God, whatever you want to call it, to come in, learn to receive it, learn to receive it, get calm. Just take the time, allow yourself the time to get those little flashes. And then when you get out of your moment of being calm, whether you call it a meditation, whether you have your eyes closed, Preferably, that's, that's, that's the best thing to do so you don't get distracted about anything around you. You might even put earplugs into your ears. I do that from time to time. I have those foamy ones and I just plug them in my ears and I don't, I'm just me, me, myself and I. When you get out of that relaxed state, immediately grab a pen and a piece of paper. You should actually lay that next to you before you go and just get calm, go into the meditation. And then write down what you got. Even if it's just a word, even if it's just a picture, write it down. Somebody once said that ideas are very slippery and you have to pin them down on paper with the point of your pencil. So that was just a little tidbit that I wanted to give you. The next thing is take action. Don't expect or don't get disappointed if you're not with the first relaxing moment, with the first meditation, you get immediately the flashes. But when you get one, the, the same day, in the evening or the next day, just go back and do another meditation and bring that picture back and ask for more. Simply ask. Ask and it is given. It truly is. So sit down, relax, close your eyes, let the universe give you show you what your desire is because you have a desire and the universe is just simply going to show it to you with pictures. Grab it, write it down, make a plan, take action, go for it. Do this, create a 90-day plan, put, a, put an amount of money on there and just do whatever it takes to go that way. And every little achievement along the way, celebrate, celebrate. Cheer yourself on, celebrate. That was it for today. Talk to you soon again. Thank you.